This video is not intended against people who support planting of trees and those who advocate preservation of our environment. This video is intended to showcase the level of scientific knowledge among our celebrities and common public. Please view the entire video before coming to a conclusion. At a time when the whole country is going through an unprecedented yet not entirely unpredicted situation owing to the pandemic and when the whole country's medical system is on the brink of collapse, some people have taken to the social media to let the world know about their heightened levels of scientific knowledge. This includes celebrities and taking cue from them, the supposedly higher educated class have also started this trend. Welcome to Celebrity Science Comedies in the wake of the pandemic. Oxygen, one of the most critical chemical that is required for our life to exist, is the most sought after commodity today in India. While people are running pillar to post for procuring this precious gas, some armchair scientists have taken to the Bluebird app to show off their scientific knowledge or lack of it. Leading the pack was a celebrity who was just run out by the app itself. The queen of Twitter who tweeted this. <laughs> Oblivious to this, a major director in Kerala had to jump into the fray and drop the bomb saying the oxygen crisis was because of the cruelty that we have rendered to the environment in recent times. I think he should be put on a mission 90 days to go back to school to learn basic science. Now let us understand this correctly from a scientific perspective. Is the current oxygen shortage in any ways due to the depletion of oxygen in the environment as a result of cutting trees? Environmentalists have often spoken against the destruction of nature and have done their part in preserving what is left of it. This video is not intended against them as we are not climate change deniers. So is cutting down of trees the reason why COVID-19 patients are gasping for air? The answer is a big no. We are not facing a scarcity of oxygen in the atmosphere. Instead, we are facing a shortage of oxygen cylinders. If there was a reduction in atmospheric oxygen, then people who do not have COVID would have also suffered a similar fate. Also, the oxygen content in the atmosphere has not dropped in recent times. So breathe easy. Some people who get COVID gets an infection in their lungs. This infection causes their lungs to lose the ability to inhale the oxygen through the normal process of inhalation. At this point, we will have to provide the patient with oxygen through artificial means, that is through oxygen cylinders. All our tissues and cells require oxygen for their existence. The concentration of oxygen in our atmosphere is around 21%. When we inhale the air around us, we inhale all the gases present around us including oxygen. The lungs take the oxygen required which amounts to around 5% and release the rest of the unused oxygen back into the atmosphere through the process of exhalation. Yes, it is not just cows that inhale and exhale oxygen. We humans do too. Holy cow, did you know that? When the lungs loses its ability to do this process due to the aforesaid infection or due to any other reason, we need to provide the patient with oxygen through the oxygen cylinders. Now, even if the oxygen in the atmosphere has reduced as claimed by the celebrities with the high level of science quotient, is it because of deforestation or cutting down of trees? If it had been, how do you explain the presence of oxygen in deserts like Sahara, Gobi and Thar? Snow covered Antarctica and the Arctic and other similar barren places around the world where there is hardly any vegetation. Where do people and animals who live in such places get their oxygen from when there are no trees around? Ever thought about that? The answer to this is simple enough. 
we don't get our daily dose of this chemical only from trees in fact we hardly get them from trees scientists estimate that at least half of the earth's oxygen comes from the oceans and that is a very loose estimate studies have revealed that the numbers could be anywhere between 50 to 80% the majority of this production is from oceanic plankton drifting plants algae and some bacteria that can photosynthesize one particular species prochlorococcus is the smallest photosynthetic organism on earth prochlorococcus releases countless tons of oxygen into the atmosphere it is so small that millions can fit in a drop of water prochlorococcus has achieved fame as perhaps the most abundant photosynthetic organism on the planet it has been estimated that this bacteria provides the oxygen for one in every five breaths we take and this bacteria produces up to 20% of the oxygen in our entire biosphere that is a higher percentage than all of the tropical rainforest on land combined so if you thought that it is trees which supplied us with oxygen all this while it is time to rethink that so deforestation has not caused the current oxygen shortage what has happened is the lack of oxygen producing plants no not these plants that produce oxygen i meant these plants most states with the exclusion of kerala had not foreseen the shortage and were unenthusiastic to start such oxygen producing factories this has led to the current issue where we are facing serious oxygen cylinder shortage now i thought the lack of knowledge was only limited to the celebrities but hey ho when i opened my facebook i was surprised to find many posts which supported the same views i guess to follow the queen has become a fashion for some people now if they pause to think for a little while never mind about having a great scientifically inclined mind a little bit of common sense would be sufficient before making such outrageous unscientific and childish claims anyways twitter has suspended the great science teachers account so we would need to find a new source for our knowledge well we thought this was all for this episode but now the comedy season had just begun amidst all the halabalu out comes a statement from government sources that they are exploring the possibility of converting existing nitrogen plants to produce oxygen to meet the shortfall people who were till then running around looking for plasma suddenly started to hunt for that extra proton that would enable nitrogen to be converted to oxygen nitrogen has an atomic number of 7 and oxygen has 8 the difference between them being an additional proton in the nucleus of oxygen however an investigation into the matter revealed that their actual plans were to convert nitrogen plants to oxygen plants that is factories which used to produce nitrogen would reduce their production of nitrogen and instead start to produce oxygen by making some modifications to the manufacturing equipment Phew. not sure if that is what the officials really meant when they made the statement but twitter atis just took it on since we have such officials in our bureaucracy we don't need the use of nitrous oxide to evoke laughter we can easily split nitrous oxide into its individual components and separate nitrogen and oxygen or we can consider splitting the abundant yet dangerous chemical called dihydrogen monoxide which contains two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen and use that oxygen in cylinders dihydrogen monoxide is available in plentiful even in a house just open your tap or shower and you will be drenched in this chemical now i know what some of the highly intelligent would be thinking okay by using these techniques we have created enough oxygen but what do we do with the excess hydrogen and nitrogen that we have created as by products in the above process don't worry we have an answer to that too 
just take the excess nitrogen from nitrous oxide and take four parts of hydrogen from two molecules of water and put them in a pipette shake them well and you end up with yes ammonia use that as a fertilizer to generate more plants to generate more oxygen another option is to separate the useless carbon dioxide that we exhale out and split it into carbon and oxygen but then there are already thousands of people in india who are giving up each day because they are not getting enough oxygen and are turning themselves into carbon even otherwise splitting carbon dioxide has its advantages split carbon dioxide release the oxygen in the atmosphere and take the carbon and put it under enough pressure and voila you get diamonds that is killing two birds with one stone i don't intend to make killing or dying as a matter of joke so please ignore that people in some states are putting covid patients below people trees with the notion that they will get more oxygen that way this comes from yet another pseudo scientific claim that people trees generate more oxygen than any other plant and that is why temples have people trees in their compounds some people will go to any lengths in the name of injecting science into their religion oh some people So our take on this is not to fall for such unscientific claims which does not have an iota of truth in them. Oxygen doesn't grow on trees and it is not deforestation that has caused this oxygen shortage. Please don't share or like such comments on social media. But share this video if you have such people in your groups who needs a kick in the right direction. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click subscribe. and click on all so that you would receive notifications about our upcoming videos we will continue to roast pseudo scientific claims whenever we hear of it so until next time it's bye bye from pale blue thoughts